Hello and good morning, good afternoon, or good night wherever you are, and welcome back to my channel. So, now we'll move on to the real products. So the first thing that I picked up, ta -da! Oh, ta -da! Alright, this is the whoop, Neogen Bio Peel Gauze Peeling Green Tea Pads. And this is my second container of these because I really love how soft they make my skin feel. I'm almost done with my first container. I think I've got like four more pads left and I use them once a week. So I was like, you know what? I think it's time to get another one. They also have like a 10 or 15% off coupon for this specific product on Jolsey right now for a lot of the Neogen products actually. If you go to their website and you go to coupons, you'll find the coupons for that. So that's why I picked this up because I already really like it. Next, I've got a pack of three things here. Let's see. So the first thing is the Tosung Green Tea Brightening Treatment. And this is an essence. And I got this because I needed a new essence and this had green tea in it. And it's from Tosung. And I really like this brand. So I thought green tea plus a brand that I like. And it's got niacinamide in it which is supposed to be good for acne scarring and like skin texture. So I thought it would be worth a shot and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Next is the Innisfree Perfect UV Protection Cream, the anti-pollution version. This is SPF 50 and it's got anti-pollution in there. It's water resistant. Um, it's supposed to help protect your skin from the pollution and I live in a city where there's quite a bit of pollution. So I really wanted to get something to help take care of my skin. So that's why I picked this up. And this is the first Korean sunscreen that I've gotten that is a, like, one of the white sunscreens. I think they're mineral sunscreens. So I think there's mineral and chemical. And I think this one is mineral. The white ones with like zinc in them and stuff. So this says, this UV protection cream blocks the strong UV rays and urban pollutants indoors, outdoors, and even in water. So I'm really excited to be able to use this for the summer and to make sure that my skin is protected. Because I've just been using the like sunscreen that's in my makeup, and I heard recently that you tend to be less um, careful when you're applying that. You're a lot more careful when you apply this and it protects more of your face. So I thought I should get a real sunscreen. Also, I have started going running occasionally, and so I feel like if you are going running, you wanna have sunscreen on. You don't necessarily wanna have makeup on, so. Hopefully this works well and doesn't break me out. Next is the My Signature Red Sea Serum. This is a concentrated brightening serum with 20% vitamin C, vitamin B12, and glu glutathione? glutathione. The main reason that I got this is because it's a vitamin C serum. And this is from TM. I never know how to pronounce this brand's name. I think it's TM. But I used a vitamin C serum before that wasn't actually like a real vitamin C serum. It had like barely any vitamin C. But this one is 20% vitamin C. And I'm really excited to see what it does for my skin because the other vitamin C serum that I used didn't really do much because, like I said, there wasn't really enough vitamin C in there. So hopefully this one does some wonders because I do have a little bit of like scarring because it vitamin C can help brighten dark spots. So I wanna make sure that my skin is looking good. And this says that this delivers results in plumper, firmer, more radiant skin that appears naturally healthy, vibrant, and younger looking. And who doesn't want vibrant, radiant skin? Next, there's another little package. The first thing is this Nature Republic Soothing and Moisture Aloe Vera 92% Soothing Gel Mist. So the reason that I picked this up is because I wanted a facial mist for the summer because I feel like it can get so hot sometimes that you just want something cool and refreshing to spray. And aloe vera is very summery to me, so I thought it was the perfect thing because aloe vera is also very calming for your skin. So what better thing than a cooling, calming mist? <laughs> So that is why I picked this up. The next thing is this toner from Secret Key. I have a toner from Secret Key, but I'm running so, so low on it, and it is actually a toner that I really, really like. So I got it cheap last time, but it was a little more expensive this time, and I wasn't, I was looking for something cheaper. 
So I decided to pick up this tea tree refresh calming toner because tea tree is good for acne and keeping your skin like clear and I feel like that's a problem during the summer. I get more breakouts. So I really wanted to get something refreshing for a toner. This is a little smaller than I was expecting because the other toner that I have from Secret Key is pretty big. It lasted me a really long time. But I am excited to try this out because it was pretty cheap and I'll let you guys know how it is. But yeah, I just chose tea tree. They had a bunch of other types too. They had aloe. I think they might have even had a green tea one, but I feel like it was sold out. And I think I was going to get that, but it was sold out. So yeah, tea tree is the one that I picked up. Next, we have something that I have been meaning to repurchase for so long. Ta-da! It is the Cynic Honey All-in-One Ampule. If you guys have been on my channel for a bit, you know that... This item was so great for me. It's it's one of my favorite products. <gasps> oh no, I think something might have happened to it. The box is a little damp. Uh-oh. So this product is great. Like, it makes my skin look so nice, and I didn't realize how nice it made my skin look until after my bottle was all gone. So I had to buy a new one, but I think last time I ordered, they were out of stock. So this time, they were not out of stock. I picked it up. I've got it now. If there is something wrong with it, I will be sad if it's like broken or something. But um, I feel like Jolsey has really good customer service, so I feel like they'll they'll fix that problem for me. Let's see. Something happened. It's, it doesn't look broken, but it like leaked somehow. I just don't know why it leaked. We'll see. I mean, as long as it's not damaged, I think it'll be all right. Um, but if it is damaged, I'm sure they'd replace it. Next, we've got this big bundle here, -da -da -da. and I wanted to get more masks this time, so got a couple different types here. The first is this, again, Kosung. It's the SOS Repair Sika Clinic Centella Mask, and it has Centella Asiatica. It soothes and conditions sensitive and irritated skin, and I am really looking forward to trying these masks because I've heard that there was something from the Sika clinic line. I don't know if it was these or if it was something else that is supposed to be really good and Centella Asiatica is supposed to be really good for your skin so I'm just excited to try these in general. I think this is like a 10 pack or something. I like the brand. What can I say? I felt like it was worth it. <laughs> Next is this icing sweet bar sheet mask and I told you guys that I always fall for packaging so this one is like a little watermelon popsicle and I thought it was the most adorable thing and that's literally the only reason that I bought this. Um, I have no idea what watermelon will do for my skin. It's, I feel like it's probably brightening. I feel like everything is brightening and moisturizing. So um, I hope it smells like watermelon. But yeah, that's why I got this. And this one came in a three pack actually. So I've got three of these icing sweet bar sheet masks watermelon version. Next, I decided to pick up something a little different. I've never had one of these before, but this is a double fit lifting mask from Innisfree. And this has propolis, propolis, propolis. I call it propolis, but probably propolis. But it's got that extract and this is firming and for pore care, which I thought would be really good for the summer, pore care. But basically, you take this bottom part and it goes over your ears and like stretches and it's supposed to get tight. And then the top part up here is like a normal sheet mask and it goes over your eyes and your nose area. And then it's supposed to help moisturize your skin and also like give you that V-line jaw. So we'll see how this works as well. Next, I got this Innisfree Pocket Shake Modeling Mask and I got this because it was green tea. And I guess what you do, oh, not that, that's not what you do, you don't drop it. You push this top part down into the bottom part and then shake it up. And then it's supposed to be cooling and soothing and you just like apply it to your face. Leave it on there for 25 to 30 minutes and then take it off. So it's really interesting because this top part is almost like a jelly and the bottom part is liquid. So I'm really excited to be able to try this out. This is something very different. I'll see you guys. Just so you know, this video has been so difficult to film. I have no idea why. My dogs won't stop barking. 
and my camera keeps running out of space and I have to keep deleting things and then my battery died. And, but I'm gonna keep powering through. We're gonna do this. Next, I've got the Kozarx Acne Pimple Master Patches. I got these before and I liked what they did. I feel like they're not like miracle products, but they do help. So I just picked them up again so that I could have them for those emergency situations where like, you know, you've got a big event the next day and you're like, oh no, like a pimple. So this is good for that. Next, I got the Secret Key Triple Fit Lifting Patch because I like Secret Key as a brand. And I, again, I've never tried a mask like this before, so I thought it would be really interesting to see what it does. So, I mean, I don't feel like I need too much lifting going on down here. I'm not at that stage yet. But I just thought it would be cool to see. I feel like I've seen YouTubers try these out before to see what they do, but I don't think I've ever seen this one tried out. And some of them I've seen do make a real difference. <laughs> I don't know, I guess we'll see when I try this out. Next, we've got a couple makeup products. Yay! All right, so for, this is adorable. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Okay, so first is the Peripera Vivid Tint Water, and it comes in the cutest little package ever. And um, yeah, this is in the shade number two. Look at it! Oh my gosh. Look at how cute that is. I just couldn't pass it up. They have a mini fridge from Peripera, and like, you have no idea how tempted I was to buy that, but it was like 20 bucks, and my order was already so much. But so tempted to buy that. But yeah, this is in the shade Peach Squeeze, so. We'll see how that works too. Next is the Peripera Airy Ink Velvet Tint. And this is in the shade Apricot Coral. Um, I haven't tried these yet and I feel like everybody's tried them and everyone loves them and I haven't tried them. So that's why I got it. So that I could try it. And it's such a pretty color. <gasps> Look at that. I might even try this today, guys. Not gonna lie. Next, we've got a little bit more makeup stuff. I made my order like half makeup, half skincare because I was only running out of certain skincare products that I needed for the summer and I wasn't going to have enough time to use up other skincare products. So I was like, you know what? How about I just buy what I need for the rest of the summer? I'll make another order in like the fall, but I haven't bought too much makeup. So that's how this happened. So the next thing is this Holika Holika Holla Pop watercolor cheek and this is in the shade CR03 and I think it's peachy milk I think that's what it says peachy milk is the shade and it's just like um, a peachy color like you can see there it kind of almost matches my skin tone though it's like a little bit pinker than my skin but I really wanted like a liquidy blush for the summer because I feel like I don't know I like wearing liquid makeup in the summer because I feel like powder just feels suffocating which is weird because I also feel like liquid makeup is good for the winter because powder is drying. So you feel like you'd want powder in the summer if you don't like it in the winter, but I don't know. I guess I'm just most of the time not the hugest fan of powder. <laughs> so that's why I got this. Next, I got the Etude House Dear Darling Lip Tint in the shade OR205. This is what it looks like and it comes in super cute packaging too. And the reason that I picked this one is because I actually tried this one on my arm in a store not too long ago. And um, I loved the way it looked. So I was like, I have to buy this. I have to. I don't have any colors like this. So now I've got it and I can't wait to wear it. The next thing is also something that I tried out in that same store. It is the Etude House Play Color Eyes Peach Farm Palette. So, the reason that I got this is, again, because I tried it out in the store, but these eyeshadows, I've never had an Etude House eyeshadow palette before. I think I've had, like, a single eyeshadow, and it was alright, but it was just, like, a shimmery one. But these eyeshadows are so much more pigmented than I thought they'd be, and they glide on so beautifully. Like, I had heard people talk about this palette and say that, like, it was alright because of the colors. I guess the colors are some that, they like, you can get in other palettes or something. I guess they reuse their colors a lot, but I don't have colors like this. And these, they're so pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this. Uh, hopefully I'll do like a makeup tutorial or something with this at some point, because these are so pretty. 
so pretty. I was so excited to get this. I didn't even want to do my makeup today when I got this package, but I was like, I'm filming a video, I should probably do my makeup. If I want, I can redo it afterwards, but I'm probably too lazy to do that. Next! Yay! Yay! Next is the Etude House Matte Chic Lip Liqueur. And this is in the shade RD303. And this is Irene Red. And I love Irene, so that's why I had to get it. <laughs> that's literally the only reason why. I didn't realize that the uh, package was like a frosted glass. Oh, but I'm so excited to use this. Irene is my favorite member of Red Velvet. If you also love Red Velvet, let me know in the comments down below who is your bias. Irene. This is the last little package that's in there. We've got the Cosrx Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. This is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. For some reason, I thought it was going to be really small. And everyone talks about this cleanser. Everyone says that they love it. And I've never tried it. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. I want to use it in the morning. I normally don't use anything in the morning to wash my face. But I feel like in the summer, I'm sweatier when I wake up. Not really sweatier, but oilier. My face gets oily overnight. So I am I want to wash my face with a product. So I picked this up because everyone loves it. So hopefully I love it too. Finally, the last thing is this Peripera. I didn't realize how much Peripera makeup I bought. So the Peripera Sugar Glow Tint because this looked so pretty. And first of all, this packaging is adorable. Um, but I just opened it and like ruined it. But this is the Sugar Glow Tint in the shade number 4. And I think this is the shade number 4, Sweet and Sour. Um, it doesn't say it in English, but I think that says Sweet and Sour. So if not, I'm wrong and I'll let you know down here. But it looks like in Korean it says Sweet and Sour. So, Sugar Glow. And so It was so pretty on the model. I don't know if it's going to look exactly like it did in the picture, but it looked so pretty. So I can't wait to try out these lip tints, guys. All right, well, that is it for today's Julesy haul. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have purchased any of these items, if you like them, if you don't like them. What do you recommend me to purchase for my next haul? I think I'm going to pick up, again, like half makeup, half skincare. So if there's any products that you want me to try out, let me know in the comments down below. And um, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I... Oh, if you haven't subscribed already, though, Click the subscribe button down below and you can see reviews of these products when I review them. Thank you for the third time so much for watching and I hope to see you all back here next time. Bye! These are the problems that you have as a YouTuber when you live with dogs. Alright, I don't remember where I was. Oh yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have received if you guys have received